guys, I am back. Welcome back to Roxy Jasper One Two D on my same channel, and today I'm going to be doing a movie review on Encanto. So the fun fact here is, I was going to go to see Ghostbusters Afterlife, but yesterday my friend told me about how he'd been to see Encanto, and he said it was one of the best Disney films ever. I can't agree with that because Dumbo is the best Disney film ever. But me literally being that one guy who does anything that his friend says, I went to go and see Encanto instead. And to be completely honest, I do not regret not going to go and see Ghostbusters Afterlife. Also, this doesn't mean that I'm a, not a Ghostbusters fan. I absolutely love Ghostbusters. And I am actually going to the cinemas to see it when it gets a bit less unpopular. It's about to go on DVD. All I'm trying to say is I really, really enjoyed Encanto. Now enough talk. Let me get into the review. The storyline. So the story begins in Colombia with a magical house and a magical family. Like when they're a young toddler, they get blessed by this candle and it gives them a power. The candle is technically the main plot of the film because it technically brought the magic to the house and the people. So let's just say the candle is the most important part of the film. Let me introduce you to all of the family's powers. So first we have Louisa and she's a strong person who can like lift churches and houses and all those heavy things. Next up we have Isabella who is apparently the perfect one. She just uses flowers to be perfect I guess. Next up we have Camilo who is a shapeshifter and I really wish she can shapeshift him to subscribers so I have more of them. Then we have Dolores and she can hear from a massive distance, like seriously, she can hear from like 10 meters away and she definitely has a lot of funny parts in this movie. Then we have Antonio, which actually, he gets his gift at the beginning of the movie, which is speaking to animals. This is actually one of my favorites. And then we have Abuela, who is the main person in the family. She leads the family. We then have these adults. Um, I don't really want to add their powers, even though their powers are pretty cool. It would just make the video a ton longer. Then we have Mirabelle, one of the main characters, who sadly does not get a power. And that's why life is quite depressing for her. <laughs> and then we have Bruno. He is a mysterious figure that the family don't really mention and don't like to talk about. He has the powers to look what's going to happen in the future, which I think is the coolest power ever. Suddenly, Mirabelle and Bruno find out that the candle is burning down. Because of this, their magical house starts to crack and break down. Family members also start to lose their powers, like Louisa starts finding things heavy. Bruno then looks into the future and finds out that there is a way to stop the candle from burning out. It's up to Mirabelle now to go and do the things that Bruno sees in the future and save the house and the candle. The good and the bad. So now I'm going to be covering the good and the bad of this film. Now, in my opinion, I really, really, really enjoyed this Disney film. I think the animation was absolutely amazing. You could kind of see the characters moving amazingly. I also thought the music was amazing. I've downloaded the soundtrack and I listen to it on my headphones now and again. And the music was composed from Lin-Manuel Miranda, who also composed the music for Moana and Hamilton, if you've ever seen it on Disney+. Plus, Lots of people in my household absolutely love Hamilton, so I always hear the songs, like, out loud. It's crazy. <laughs> um, and so on my scale, I'm probably going to give it an 8 out of 10. Now, that is a good score. It's only because... Um, the Bruno guy I mentioned earlier, his story gets quite confusing. The storyline gets quite confusing when it comes to him. And that's why I think... I'd give it an 8. The last bits. Okay, so we've just moved on to the last section of my last bits uh, on my Encanto review. And one thing I haven't mentioned in this video already is that the animation is amazing. I, I think I have, because I said that the characters, they move amazingly. I mean, the animation is great because it's 2021. Uh, animation is good these days. Uh, but it's also because the people who directed Moana and Zootropolis also directed this film. And, I mean, that's why it makes it so good, because Zootropolis and Moana were such good films, and that's why it made this one a very good film. 
And so that's mostly all I wanted to say for the last bits. Uh, one last thing, actually. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to the cinemas to see Spider-Man No Way Home. I am actually so hyped for this movie. I'm so excited. And I'm not going to be putting any spoilers out because it is... Marvel did post a video saying no spoilers. But yeah, you know, it's the holiday season. I have to release two movie reviews in like two days because it's Christmas. But anyway, hopefully you will enjoy that video soon. And I hope you enjoyed this video that I have just posted. Anyways, hope you enjoyed. Bye bye.